Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with a lesson on how you change mere reflection. So when you're working with young students, it's not going to be a mirror that they're looking at, but actual, so if you hold up your right hand, they're gonna be able to hold up their right hand and match you. Um, so uh, visually, the way you do it, you go to the top, here, let me suspend Jaws. Space, speech on demand. Okay, so you're gonna go to the top right hand corner and you're gonna see your picture most likely. Uh, and then you're going to click on it and you're going to go down to settings. Now let me do that uh, with the auditory effect. Full speech. Okay, I'm going to tab. Setting button to activate rest space bar. And it says setting, but let me shift tab back. Zoom, Denise Robinson, status available, like okay. the account button drop down. Setting button tab to, to settings. rest space bar. And I am on my home uh, page. Space. I'm going to hit space. I'm going to tab one time. General. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. And you need to hear general, then you can down arrow to video. Video. To and you need to, to hit item, press the arrow key. Enter. Enter. Now you can tab over to mirror my video. So I'm going to wave at you visual people. Hi, I'm mirror effect now. So I'm holding up my right hand. Let's tab Take over. 90 degrees button to activate camera. Microsoft Red 16 colon enable HD mirror my video checkbox. There's check mirror. Check and as soon as I check it, uh, my mirror Space will turn content. off, and now I'm holding up my right hand, which helps uh, young children. So depending on who you're working with, um, just be aware of that, because if you're working with a learning disabled child, they also may have issues with that. Okay, so that's how you change your mirror effect, so you can actually work with young children. Um, some will get it, some won't, but we all need options there, and that's how you do that. Okay, bye.